Hello guys and welcome to another video. As you've seen by the thumbnail of this video, we are here to bring you the boy, the legend himself, the most coolest, the most handsomest, Zahak, the coolest unit in Epic 7, the most handsomest husbando that has been and it will ever be for a while because the guy looks insane. So I chose to go for a little bit of an uncreative build with a very creative artifact. Uh, so basically I went for a speed bruiser build and I'm still missing a, a couple mods. I have some flat mods and stuff like that. Uh, but the, the pieces of gear I have on him are very solid. Uh, one of them actually is missing only 1% from being perfect and it's not too bad. Uh, most of his gear is pretty decent. And uh, on that note, uh, we're mostly going to run him on creation and destruction. I think Zahak is a great unit to run on creation and destruction because his S3 is extremely strong if you get a creation proc on it because basically you're always going to have that 50% uh, crit chance, 50% hit chance, uh, injury ability at all times, which means that there's no cap on creation. You could just be invincible forever. And that's kind of the gimmick because even though it's a low chance, it could happen. And if it does, he can become this solo monster that cannot be killed and can kill everything, right? And also creation proccing on his S2 is also very nice because when you when you do S3 and then eventually you have to S2 and cleanse, uh, what happens is if you get your cleanse back up, and your 50% CR, you're going to be able to cleanse and cycle faster than you would if you if you'd only would do it once, right? So you keep getting this shield, you keep getting these cleanses, and uh, it's also very valuable. So because of these two abilities being so good to get a creation proc on, makes this uh, character a perfect candidate to use creation on. And his S1, well, it's just damage, but either way, if you do uh, get creation procs on this, you do get quite a bit of souls from these two abilities as well, which is actually very good for his uh, S1 Soulburn, which is, you know, another ability that's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, and that's basically it. The stats are looking pretty even. Attack is pretty decent. I want to get it a little bit higher, but I will because I have some mods that aren't, you know, super maxed. So we will get it to 3,500 minimum. Uh, defense is just right. HP, I want to get it a little slightly, like slightly above this. And uh, speed is fine. Crit is 1% over, but that's fine. And crit damage is 1% under, but, you know, that's also fine. Uh, but the build looks fine, seems fine. Haven't used an RTA, so we're going to jump into RTA, and we're going to test it and debut it for the first time on video and for me as well. So I hope it works. I don't know how much damage he does. I haven't seen any videos on Zahak. Uh, I just fought some Zahaks, and uh, they do decent damage. But I wonder if, with this build, I still do a bunch of damage, or if I don't, because this is a very ambitious build. All right, as we normally go about this, we are going to first pick Zahak because we have no respect for our opponent and we don't really care what he's going to pick because we're just going to Zahak. And uh, why am I saying Zahak? <laughs> I think I have a problem today, but don't worry about it. It's Zahak. Zahak. <laughs> they could have picked an easier name, I believe. Unbuffable boy. He's trying to go fancy bancy schmancy on us but i don't think that's going to work because we're going to pick a cleanser and a cr pusher and now he has a choice to make that's basically it you will have a choice to make and it won't be easy all right this is so this is kind of a hidden cleave i'm kind of i'm kind of on board with that i don't really mind it i mostly want uh, a way to um to just prevail over my enemies and honestly, I think it's pretty straightforward for me. I'm just going to pick this and Ban Basar because the unbuffable seems pretty crippling for this type of team. And uh, I don't really mind it. So we're Gucci there. So let's see. Whoever gets first turn wins uh, or not. It might not be like that. It might not be like that. He does get a bunch of turn priority though because he's going to provoke my boy Charles. And that ain't no bueno. <laughs> that must feel horrible. That is, oh my lord. Oh my god. Why? Why? That is such a bullshit thing. Oh my lord. <laughs> I can't. Like this is this is disgusting. I I I I don't want to win like this. This is I All right, let's move on cuz this is way it's i can't i can't Th this was too bad all right let's move on to the next one here we go we're gonna have a speedy fight which was mo which will most likely most definitely end on a very bad term for me but i think we'll be okay i don't know 
Yeah, he speeds the speed. He bends the speed thread, but th now there's a very real chance that my uh, Kawazu can break through this, right? It might not be that likely, but uh, there's a, there's a chance. Actually, there's no chance anymore. Yes, there is no chance anymore, but I think we're good. I think we survived what we needed to survive, I think. So, I think we're all Gucci, right? Now we get rid of uh, the annoyance, which is this guy. This uh, Rimuru. He's going to Shindaru. Rimuru Shindaru. Oh, he's going to steal my buffs? I don't think you can steal that buff. <laughs> Buddy, I don't think you can steal that buff. All right, I want to see Zahak's damage. I haven't tested it yet. Is it is it good? Is it not good? I don't know. I mean, these are DPSs, so it's kind of unfair to test like this. Who do I test on? Okay, the Watcher sure seems a little bit tankier, so we're going to go on that. All right, it's time. S3 on this boy. Oh, this S3 is so cool looking. Look at him go. That was actually pretty strong. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. 17k is very strong. All right, let's move on to the next fight. Alrighty, here we go. This is going to be our comp, and I'm not really super overly confident about it, but I think we should be mostly okay. I kind of was trying to force a bruiser comp because I kind of want to see how he performs while taking a hit, and uh, I really don't mind it, so we're doing that. So I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do a good old easy slap on this uh, on this Cecilia. It shouldn't hurt too much. We don't have attack buff. We shouldn't we shouldn't do too much here. And we proc'd creation. Here we go. All right, that's it. This is what we want him to do. We want him to be this perma invincible boy. Skill null goes up. I don't really care. I mostly brought the TML to be a uh, bait ban, but I'm okay with it. And this counter is actually pretty good because now I actually do get to hit her, and that's really good. Shorido. <laughs> the thickums, thickums shields right there, and then we we do a little little tappy tap. I should use TML the more more often. Honestly, should. I do like my my build on her so. Right, I think with all four attacks like this, dude, these warriors are like, these boys are like single target machines. I'm kind of interested on how this is going to go because these are single target machines. Okay, let's see what he do. What he do, what he do. Oh, he gets the stun on Zahaka boy. That ain't no bueno. But guess what? They're all going to go and Zahaka is protected. Nothing's going to go through. And then all he needs to do is survive one more turn after that, and he'll be okay. Nice counter. Unfortunately, he did, he, did, he did stun the most important units, didn't he? Ha. I mean, I guess that's not really hot because he wants to get hit. Here she goes. She gets 50% CR now from uh, EE, so it's pretty good. How, 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 how'd you, how'd you hit me, buddy? How, how, how'd he do? How'd he do that, man? It's cheating, man. It's cheating. I'm telling you. This boy cheating. Was that the right move? I don't know if it was the right move. I, I, I don't know. All I know is that I, she, I can't, I can't, I can't have my girl die. My Milim can't die. I'm going to soul burn next turn so I can refresh uh, the chatty and that's it. Oh no, there's a hot permalock. That's not good. I think at least AOEs are out of the question here. So TML will be able to do some damage later. The boy's a survivor. Look at him. Unfortunately, I think he won't survive for much longer, but he's a survivor. He's doing it. Oh, 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 I see. Should I burn here? I still don't think I'm going to burn on this one. 
No, I won't burn on this one. She, she can heal enough. She's going to AoE. Unfortunately, the, the Ravi might be able to pop off from this. But I, I haven't been touching her at all. So she shouldn't have S3. Yet. I haven't I haven't been fondling with her, you know? Ha! I got ch I got my I get my chetty back. This good. I could burn, but I'm not. I won't burn. I mean this is fine as long as well, as long as nothing. Like if he provokes the Zahak, he's he's not gonna do much more, right? He's gonna he's gonna perish from it. And then we're gonna burn Bonkies, and then we're gonna go Stunkies, right? It's the Bonkies and the Stunkies. I I don't think he survives this. He don't. Bonk. All right, that was pretty squishy, a Ravi actually. I mean, just Ravi. All right, on to the next and most likely last one. All right, boys, here we go. Next one. We're gonna have a little struggle with this Flan, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Mostly because the flan did not speed anything, so it really shouldn't be the end of the world. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to push up, and then we're going to do a little smack a -rooney, as you normally do. This should tickle the fancy. It's that old. I'm kind of worried of uh, how, how little damage that was, but eh, it's fine. It's okay. We don't worry about these things. It's those are the minor things in life, you know. Those are indeed the minor things. Okay, we're gonna try to attack down her so we don't uh, feed her too much, because she might try to kill everything, and that's not very bueno, honestly. I might do one arena match after this, cause. Uh, it doesn't feel like a proper showcase of Zahak's skills, because he's not really, he's not really getting put into a situation where he would uh, pop off insanely, right? Okay, someone's getting revived for sure, but hopefully not, uh, not someone super bad. Super bad revive would be super bad indeed. All right, so revive goes through, and he goes for that, which is, it's a good, it's actually, it's it's a pretty good revive. There's no strip though. So, it's mostly going to be the attack buff and crit damage buff, right? Alright, so, we could burn, but we won't, because we, we can't really burn. <laughs> so, I'm going to protect this boy, because he's high HP as well. And, um, that's it. It's, it's, like, it's like turning your card upside down, right? Who's he going, who's going, who's he going for? Oh, there's a Hawk? Can he kill the a Hawk? Barely! Barely! I really need that extra oomph on Zahak. I need those mods to be finished. But I mean, I have I have the I have the wonder the wonder twins here. These are the wonder twins. It's basically fire violet and actual violet. Dude, that that is that is a old school stene. It has to be. Did you see that damage? It's cray cray damage. I still think I can win if I get some like crushing hits and if I don't get hit. But the, the not get hit part is more important. Yeah, this is an old school. And this guy is super lucky, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna hit it again, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright. You can't beat you, you can't beat shit like that, right? It just cannot be done, so it's fine. It's all good. Alright, let's do one arena match. Uh, I'll try to select someone at, like Zahak is, Zahak is one of those units that is good against Violet. And I kind of want to run him against Violet, even though I've been picking Violet every time with him. So, yes, let's do that. Here we go. We're going to take a little bit of a challenging team. We're not going to go super hard counters onto the the enemy because I kind of want to I kind of want to see how things play out, right? I want to see how things play out. And this is Champion Arena. It's not too bad. Even though, like, bottom champ, like, it's pretty bad, but still. I'm going to I'm going to bank on Zahak doing some good damage. And that's basically it. I want to see a defense break attack buff big hit. Cuz I think with that we can basically kill anything, right? Oh, perfect. I want to see I want to see if I can nuke this um A Ravi. Let's see. I think it should be able to, right? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> well, but that was that was kind of cheating, right? It's, it's kind of super expected. You don't really expect it to not do that, right? Uh oh, she gonna hit my milim. But I think I think I still have my immunity, right? I sure don't. I sure don't have my immunity. But it's all good. I'm gonna hit this violet or attempt to hit the violet. But yeah, I, I think the Sahak is one of, one of those units that I'm going to run into very, very tanky comps. And I think he'll perform pretty well there. But other than that, like, the unit doesn't really have much of a gimmick, right? He's just a good single target one-shot unit. So it's it's not like you can do super fancy things like Milim. Because Milim has a lot of solo potential, right? Right now, this Sahak, the his only solo potential is the fact that he can proc creation and be invincible for multiple turns. So, it's a little weird. Is, is it just me or is this guy getting way too many, you know, things? And the cool thing is, like, he's also a supportive, like, cleanser, I would call him, right? He, su he support cleanses, and, uh, yeah, I think, I think he has a pretty good place in this game right now. Even though I, f I hear some people are kind of, like, you know, laying it down on him, I think he's pretty good. Okay, I don't have attack buff, but this should do a bunch of damage. If it crit, which it didn't because of anti-crit, so... Okay, now it's time to actually do some big damage. Ah! Okay, can we do the big damage? Alright, I think I'm gonna do the big damage because this guy is pretty slow, right? The Violet. He is not? How... I am... What? Uh, uh, I... It's a 221 speed... How? Okay. Alright, guys. On that note, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get the debuts of Zahak better on another video. But you guys know how it goes. When I try to debut, it never goes well. But watch out for the next videos. I'm going to be spamming Zahak left and right and eventually you'll find that one video where he's gonna pop off like an insane monster and then you'll get your real debut video so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh and leave a like and subscribe and comment down below i'm sorry i left uh, a couple days uh of uh, not editing i back to work and uh that's it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and well, actually i forgot the memes let's go review some memes real quick Alrighty, today we only have one little meme and it's one of those video ones, so I don't really know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to lower the volume, because... <laughs> Alright, okay, I get it, it's it's a transformer, it's, it's a transformer detransforming. <laughs> okay, I can't, alright, Th thank you so much, alright, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. If you, if you want to leave a meme for review, go on my Discord and there's a channel for it. As you can see, memes for review. All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.